Uh, put the gun, gun away. We come in peace. Yeah, right. Fits your profile to a T, Crane. Uh, what do you mean? You don't recognize me, Julian? I should say not. We've certainly never met. The Crane arrogance never ceases to amaze me. Perhaps my name will ring a bell. Tom Joyner. Tom... Oh, my God, not you! Yeah, right, it's me. Wait a minute, I didn't know you two knew one another. Well, will you tell her, or shall I? He's the biggest whistleblower in Crane Industries' entire corporate history. He cost my family millions. Well, I don't understand. He says I cost him and his father millions. He cost innocent employees their pension and retirement fund. And in some cases, their lives. Time to settle the score. I, uh, well, you're, uh, you're talking ancient history here. There's really no reason to get all bent out of shape. We're both reasonable men. I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. <laughs> you stole from your own workers. You robbed them of more than just their pension and retirement fund. You robbed them of their hope, their spirit. In some cases, they took their own lives. You're nothing but a callous murderer, Julian. You and your father have the blood of your employees on your hands. Is that true, Julian? Why rehash old business dealings when we're both here to help each other out? I have the million dollars you asked for. Eh, I thought that would be enough. But seeing your face again, now I'm not so sure. Wait. Don't tell me that your arrangement with Rebecca was merely a ruse to get me here. Well, you said you had incriminating information on Teresa so we could get her out of the mansion. That wasn't a lie, was it? No, it wasn't. I have the information you need right here. Only now I see something that I want more than a million dollars. Like him, dead. My God, he's serious! Oh, well, well, maybe... Maybe I can help you change your mind. So, uh, what do you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. Oh, my goodness. What hard, strong arms you have. I mean, however do you find the time to work out, what with your busy whistle-blowing schedule and all? <laughs> I do what I can. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing your arms are so strong, because you're going to need all that strength to, to lift that big, fat, heavy briefcase we have with all that money we brought for you. Is that what you meant? I thought you wanted me to use my muscles for something else. Oh, I don't know. That could be a rain. Well, keep your drawers on, Rebecca. <laughs> I'm just trying We're to here help. to conduct business with Mr. Joyner, nothing more. Not so fast, Crane. I haven't decided what I want to do with you yet. Wait a minute, I don't see the problem here. I mean, look, if you really want to help all those people that you say that Julian and his father stole money from, then why don't you take the million dollars and give it to them? I mean, if you walk away from this arrangement, then you won't be able to help. There's another option. Maybe I could sh ridding the world of a major piece of slime and take the money anyway, killing two birds, so to speak. Uh, you're not helping, Rebecca. <laughs> well, well, yeah, but then, then you'd be a murderer and not a good guy. And besides, I mean, then you might have to spend the rest of your life in jail, and that would be such a shame. Yeah, but it might be worth it, ridding the world of this gum. Well... Yeah, just a moment's pleasure for a lifetime of regret, though. Oh, besides, it would just break my heart to think of you just rotting away in jail with all those sweaty men in those ill-fitting jumpsuits. Oh, shut up, Rebecca. Oh, Pokey! Do we have a deal or not, Mr. Joyner? Give me the money first. What? Absolutely not. Do you think of me a complete fool? Give me the envelope containing the information on my erstwhile wife, Teresa, first. Not until I count each and every bill. Well, then, I am afraid, sir, we are at a stalemate. I'm afraid, sir, you have a grave misunderstanding of the situation. You do what I 
I tell you to do, or you just sign your death warrant. Don't fright me in the least, Mr. Joyner. Then you are a fool. I don't generally believe in violence as a solution, but in your case, I'll make an exception. Would you two just stop it? I mean, Tom, really, Julian is not the one who got a hold of you. I am. He's just here to help me out this evening. Irrelevant, lady. This guy is responsible for sucking the life's blood out of innocent workers, people who put their faith in Crane Industries to do right by them, only to be handed the shaft. Oh, well, that's the old Julian. No, he would never treat his employees that way now. Look, if you don't believe me, call any major charity. I mean, really, just this week, Julian and his wife have given billions to the needy. Oh, in fact, you don't have to call anybody. I mean, it's been on every TV and radio news broadcast all day long. I haven't heard. I never listen to radio. <laughs> you yeah, well, look, I'm... I'm telling you the truth. In fact, if I were you, I, I would take this whole briefcase full of money. But now, because the way the cranes are giving away their money, there may not be any left by tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Here's the deal. We'll make the exchange. Briefcase for the envelope on the count of three. All right. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. Hurry up, hurry up. I want to see how we get rid of Teresa. Ooh. My God, is this for real? Is this the guardhouse? It's Mrs. Crane. I'd like security on the crane ground stepped up until we find the person or persons responsible for the fire tonight. And one more thing, I don't want anyone allowed on or off the property until we find out who did this. Well, look who's here. My doting husband and his live-in mistress. I'll make that call now. Yes, do that, Pookie. The sooner we use our friend's information, the better. Good news! <laughs> oh, merci! I called that number Tom Joyner gave us, and it's true. By tomorrow, we'll be rid of Miss Hot Tamale for good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.